Whoa. <laughs> Hi, Internet. What's going on? It's been a while. Um, IG here, kind of. Like, uh, well, I mean, I'm here. I'm alive. Um, so, 2016, it's basically over. And uh, let's just have a look at some of the stuff that uh, has, has happened this year. There's a lot of stuff that's come out, a lot of stuff that uh, is worth talking about, a lot of stuff that I probably won't even get to. Um, but I just want to kind of catch you all up a little bit, see what's been going on this last year or so, and, uh, and what this channel could become. Uh, in the future on a very intermittent kind of basis. So, let's kick this video off, shall we? Alright, so first things first. Uh, I always like talking about what kind of gear I've got um, because that's, you know, that's constantly changing and evolving. Um, and so it's worth talking about what kind of gear I've got. So, uh, first off, um, I guess the, the daily driver side of things with the phone, um, I've got the 2014 Moto X. Yes, this is an old phone. Yes, I don't like spending more than about four or five hundred Australian dollars on my phone because honestly I just think spending a thousand bucks on a phone is a little bit weird. Over in the States you guys have got it a little bit easier because of the dollar. But, um, but this phone right here, my gosh, uh, I've been really impressed with it. I've had it for almost a year now. Um, really smooth performance. Um, again, specs aren't everything, but the performance of this thing, you know, Android 6.0, all of that fun stuff, it's been really good. Uh, battery life is meh, camera is meh, but for the stuff that I kind of use my phone for, this is a good size in the hand and uh, yeah, just an overall really impressive device for the, for the price that I paid for it. Um, also then you'll see, probably see behind me the desk, we moved the desk, um, the desk is now out in the, the sort of living lounge area. Um, and I've been studying mostly, uh, honestly, that's what I've been doing pretty much all year, studying and working. Um, so as you can probably see, I've, um, I've got a 2014, uh, 15 inch MacBook Pro behind me. That's what does, um, a lot of uh, video editing for side projects and stuff that I do occasionally. Um, and I also have a Surface Pro 3. Uh, Surface Pro 3 is probably my favorite portable device ever. Um, man, it, I don't know, it's just really versatile. I really enjoy the, the pen experience. I've used that all year nonstop. Um, drawboard PDF, mint, get that stuff. If you're a student, uh, get something with a touch screen and a pen and drawboard PDF and you are set. I haven't printed out anything for university all year. Uh, it's just been incredible. So yeah, Surface Pro 3, MacBook Pro 15 inch. Uh, that kind of represents where I'm at with the, with the main machines. And you get phone calls at really dumb times. Um, and then I guess with the camera side of things, the camera that I'm actually filming this on is, uh, is, not, actually a, uh, is not actually the DSLR that I, that I used to film on. I'll just uh, pop this up. It's actually a Canon G7X Mark II. So I don't know if you guys can see that very well. It should try and pull focus here eventually. As you can see, yeah, the camera is not great, but uh, yeah, the Canon G7X Mark II, there you go. So really fantastic flip camera. Again, this is the kind of thing where um, I might talk about stuff like this in the future um, because of the fact, yeah, there's there's plenty of cool tech out there and I've you know had to buy some new stuff recently. We're going on a, on a big trip to Europe uh, over January, so we had to downsize the DSLR and get something that was a very potent uh, compact camera. So yeah, that's what that is. Um, and yeah, apart from that, uh, everything's just kind of been chugging along. The distros, the Linux distros, of course. This this channel started out as a Linux channel. Uh, and obviously since then, honestly, I don't really, like for the last year, I haven't really played around much at all with Linux just because I've been, you know, studying and, and getting stuff done and not really having a whole lot of spare time. Uh, but the ones that I have been following and then I'll probably continue to follow as time goes on. Elementary OS and OpenSUSE. For some reason, these two distros have just had me at hello. Um, and so obviously with the release candidate coming up for OpenSUSE 42.2, I think it is. Um, that's exciting stuff. I don't know why OpenSUSE uh, draws me in the way that it does, but it does. And, uh, and elementary, elementary OS uh, still design-wise, one of my favorite distributions of all time. Uh, and uh, you know, Ubuntu and Linux Mint and all the others, they're, they're still there, they're still doing what they've always done. Um, so for me, it's kind of stagnated a little, a little bit. Meanwhile, things like Windows 10 has gotten quite interesting and I mean, say what you will about privacy and all that kind of thing. But f for me, the kind of use that I get out of my devices, especially with the Surface, um, Windows 10 makes a lot of sense. 
Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at from a from a tech uh, point of view. Some of the highlights from this year in terms of uh, in terms of gadgets, in terms of phones, especially that have come out over the, the last twelve months. Um, so the, obviously the Google Pixel series is very very interesting. I think for me probably the most underrated flagship. I, I kind of expected the Galaxy S sevens and the S seven Edge to do very well. Obviously they've sold truckloads. Uh, the iPhones are kind of stagnating a little bit in my opinion. Um, but the HTC 10, I was really impressed with the hardware of that. And if I had to get a new phone today, that's probably what I would go with. I would probably go with the HTC 10. Build quality, solid performance, uh, decent enough camera, all of that fun stuff. They just thought out all the small details and to me that's what, that's what kind of matters with a phone. Um, yeah, that's uh, in terms of um, stuff that's coming out in the, the, the hardware space, my gosh, the, the MacBook Pros, the new ones are going to be very, very expensive, so I'm probably going to give them a miss. Uh, the, there's no real um, new stuff from Microsoft to speak of, apart from that big old Surface screen thing. Um, and uh, System76 keep churning out some very nice, uh, some very nice laptops. Obviously, the design isn't quite up to the same sort of standard as what we'd expect from the big manufacturers, but um, but they're still definitely worth a look if you want to get Linux out of the box and have a really good customer experience that way. Um, so yeah, look, there's I mean there's so much more stuff I could talk about. Uh, I'll just check my notes here, see if there's something that I've missed that I was supposed to cover. Um, yeah, so let's just talk a little bit about this channel. Um, so obviously, yes, this did start out as a Linux channel, and no, I probably won't be covering a whole lot of Linux stuff moving forward. I'm probably going to try and focus on um, the stuff that matters to me right now. I guess the, the reason that I started the channel that I did back in uh, 2010 was because I was discovering Linux for the first time. It was a time where Windows was terrible, uh, and I wanted to get something better running on my machines. Um, so that's what I did. I, I messed around with Linux and the more that I discovered, the more that I wanted to share it with people on the internet. Obviously YouTube is a very different space now, um, but having said all that, there is plenty of stuff that I would love to be able to share with you guys in terms of um, apps, services, productivity systems, uh, you know, compact camera, all the stuff that I've gone through buying. Uh, over in the, you know, the last 12 months and all the stuff that I'll continue going through the process of looking into and researching. I'd love to be able to share that with you guys. So I'm not kind of promising a, a, a consistent video upload schedule, but, um, but definitely intermittent uploads of, of uh, I guess, just different products and different product categories that I think are really valuable in the tech space today. So I guess still expect the same production quality and hopefully the same um, usefulness to you. As, uh, as what Infinitely Galactic has shown in the past. But I'm probably gonna transition away from, uh, from talking about Linux stuff and that kind of thing uh, to the same extent as, uh, as, honestly, if I can be really honest, it's definitely a stagnated landscape in my, in my opinion. Um, and again, I haven't even really been in it too much over the last year, but just from the times where I have dabbled in it really quickly, thrown a distro on VirtualBox, there's really not a whole lot going on. Um, so it doesn't make for very interesting journalism or online coverage. Um, so yeah, I'll talk about the stuff that I find interesting and I guess we'll see how we go. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, this has been a really long rambly kind of video, but thank you for sticking with it. And, uh, and hopefully we will get much shorter, punchier sort of videos here in the future. But thank you all so much. I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.